Good news, everyone. The last win was a 69th. We can now no longer succeed in missions. We have to fail all of them. So let's go. Unless we're going to go for 420. We do have a lot of uh, exciting seeming research that we're kind of waiting on. Uh, you're too fast. I'll never catch you. Even with the speeders, I don't think I can catch you. And cutting back across my base, though, makes me think I should have tried. Another one? Are you going to land for me? Okay, hang on. We can send the speeder out. It's fast. We would ideally like to not have peasants or swabbies on though. Let me at least make sure they've got armor. To do. Uh, one bulletproof vest, two scale melt. No, actually, one of those is ganger. Tried to sneak that past me, did you? Still another scale melt with the shield. Actually, um, I should also probably check who that is. You're not having the shield. Um. You take a shield. Just in case. And then we're gonna follow him. I'm a bit scared. If they go towards the base, we're leaving. And if anything with guns shows up, we're leaving. Hmm. I'm not... Is... Are you coming to my house? Where are you going? Hang on. Um... Okay, that's fine. Where were the Loch Ness? Oh, here. <laughs> um, we will wait till day. Because we'll either be fighting ninjas at night or those reapers with night vision. And I don't want to fight either of those things at night. I was a little scared then with the... <laughs> when I clicked yes, fight, go to five seconds and I wasn't looking and it was going towards the base. We're fine. How's my research? It's happening at this base. Will you hurry up with these guild people? We did get um, Black Boots Bear injured last time, so we will need a replacement Black Boots Bear. I think I can take these with the ridiculous armored people. Um... Dang, don't have any armor for you. Take a scale mail. I'm not sure if you've got any strength, but <laughs> it's better than the ganger armor. Even the not so good armor has been doing very well for us. This keeps happening. Why are they going after the dang lot now every day? We'll go out of dawn and get those apples. That's fine. You have 42 um, aiming. You should probably take a more appropriate weapon. You're using 12 of your weight now, though, on that. You know what? A more appropriate weapon. And you don't have anything. Because I gave you the rifle. Last time. You even have another grenade. Uh... Okay, it's ninjas this time. If they're gonna shoot, we want them to shoot over here. Like that. Not entirely keen on getting hit with this boarding gun either. Okay. 
didn't think you'd shoot back at that one. Don't want you shooting over there. Who got hit? That's what we're worried about. She's fine though. She's strong. They are so tough though. Oh, yeah. And apparently I stole touch dark, but hopefully we'll be fine. One fell wound. Basically nothing. A scratch that was. Just a single fatal wound. Still get out of bed in the morning for at least three. Hmm. At least Safira didn't get hit. I didn't realize they were bringing Safira. The ninjas are tough, so I'm pretty happy to. Okay, there's one in the house over there. They do seem to have a flintlock pistol. And there's at least one in a house somewhere else. Safira has eyes on. Want a flintlock pistol, but it was a flintlock, and I'm happy I could tell that just from what we saw there. That was a bit of a miss. I didn't see the rat man there. One of them did have a flintlock pistol. I'm, not, I'm a genius. Hey, Safira hit. Should have known there were two. There were a lot of activity. Very tough ladies. They are mutants, same as us. Um, which means they have the same natural armor we do. 20 all around. Which means low rolls from basically any gun available. Gonna do absolutely nothing. Um... That can definitely get through my front armor. I think it's like 40 damage on those flintlock balls. They're not, not into sniffer. There goes another. Another one over there. That wasn't me. They just got lit up. By one of the rat men. So we can assume down here is relatively safe? We'll peek at him. Who's shooting dang machine guns over here? They only have scythes. Well, cautious, because uh, I'm more worried about their melee weapons than I am the guns. They're pretty dangerous with swords, and they do sometimes show up with them. Let's just try and get some eyes out there. He has Molotovs. Yeah, one of those has a katana. I don't think we've got a katana yet. <laughs> I realized I was shooting at the one with the lock now in front of it, right as I did it. Maybe we should be a bit more careful about that in light of recent events. We'll wait for him to kill that. Than I expected. Don't know if there's always this many. 
The fact that I'm surprised that there's this many makes me feel like possibly not. What are you doing over there? I'm just getting booped. Okay, they do have a double barreled shotgun, which is really dangerous against unarmored gals, but with a little bit of armor, it's really not that bad. Shotguns in general really fall off if the thing they're shooting at has any armor on at all. Good against large monsters, bad against a person with a bulletproof vest on. That one we killed is kind of bad. <laughs> but other than that, that went alright. Yeah, it's 24 points for one killed by others, and 50 for one killed by us. Oopsie, oopsie, boopsie. As they say, no one has ever said that before. That was the first time. This is a crap gun. Um, have we not, like, had ninja gals show up before? I'm sure we have. It's just been a while, hasn't it? And that's $192 in our pocket. And we are out of Desert Eagle Clips. Which is very sad. Safira. How could you? You got one kill and it was a friendly. They'll get better. It's fine. We made the smoke up here, right? Can definitely start equipping that. All oh, right, I can't build bulletproof vests. You normally get that reasonably early, but I just I just didn't find the research, and I, I found a few bulletproof vests. Tag vest, that's the one. Um. The smoke ops gear is more of a, hey, I want to do a specific mission, so I'll give someone a smoke ops. Actually, is it though? I don't want to lose them, but like, it's good ammo. Where's Smokey? Okay, no, it's not really good ammo. Um, at twenty-five, twenty-five all around. It's not nothing. Um, also resistant to cutting, which I feel like with cutting melee weapons, a 20% resistance is, like, nice, but if someone runs up at you with a sword, they're gonna hit you, like, ten times. It's not gonna matter. Does it have bonus night vision or reduced night vision? Hmm... It's about nothing. No resistance against bullets. But then neither does the scale mail, right? But the scale mail's a little, a little stronger. It's quite light as well. First of a new breed. Become smoky. Arena got wounded a little bit. It were, it were a tiny wound. Those uh, blunderbusses are really powerful shotguns. <laughs> when I say, like, the shotguns are good against armor, if she had, she'd have been on armor, she'd have probably fucking died. <laughs> As is, she got a tiny scratch. Government agent done. Sometimes the factions build underground bases in secluded areas of the planet where they can perform any activity that's best left unknown to the population at large, and their competition. However, this secluded location gives us an opportunity to strike, loot the place and disappear into the sunset before massive reinforcements can arrive. On the other hand, each existing secret base steadily undermines our permission, uh, position. Minus 10 infamous daily. There is already one secret base, it's just too big for us. Secret base is bound to be filled with loot, information which we can use to blackmail people and otherwise increase our global standing and is a prime place to look for the highest ranking members of a faction. The final stages of building a base are signified with massive supply ships, frigates and cruiser activity that last a couple of days. 
Enemy hideouts can't be detected by radar. It requires anchoring for a few hours within less than 1,600 nautical miles from the target. We still haven't finished both of them. We finished one. Music's so bopping, dude. Kevlar ammo. It's not bad, is it? I'd like to have Kev Kevlar ammo. We have researched Ninja Gals. Organ Traffickers! Having interrogated Academy staff and gotten some insights into the darkness of the true reality, we think we have uncovered the secret behind the long-lasting smoothness of Academy boss girls. Simple enough, as they're catching mutants for humanitarian reasons, they disappear some of them to the ghouls in exchange for choice organ transplants. We can brave these chem-contaminated ghoul hellholes to rescue some victims and grab ghoul tech. They won't be easy. Those missions are, like, impossible without the smoke armor and... Distinctly doable with the smoke armor. I was gonna do a thing and I forgot what it was. Guild Air Sailor. These dudes in funny looking uniforms aren't actually that harmless. While nowhere near as important as engineers, they're trained pilots and technicians, pre are pretty well paid and will protect their ship with their lives. After all, losing it is gonna make them lifelong debt slaves to the guild. Chance to hit target in air combat, influenced by size of the target, number of provided weapons, chance to hit medium sized target. Uh, very small, just hit modify real bad. Um, that's fine. <gasps> we need that. I was looking out for that, but I still missed it. We don't need Kevlar armor right now. We need test flight. Get a bird in the air. Okay, um... So things we were gonna do, I can turn in the uh, ninja badges, I think, to... <gasps> also that. Yeah. We never get to smash any of these dang rocks. Unbelievable. Give me my mutant martial arts. Give me my bounty tokens. Not bad way to get bounty tokens. I mean, you're gonna be finding them anyway, right? Up to 300, and we can get Silver Snake. I don't really want Confederate gear, Jack. You can keep that. Can I build craft gun yet? Cause I wanna. vibing today. How powerful are these vibes? Quite powerful. Can we slave a ninja girl? No. We have a castaway girl. And I didn't even notice. Gonna get rid of these stupid rocks one day. Gunship. Anything with guns on it, we can't. I mean, anything with guns on it is is an instant kill on any of our crafts right now. I don't think the enemies run out of ammo, so they'll just follow you forever, unless um your craft can outrun them, which the the speed is. Possibly can, depending on what it is chasing us, but the um, air van cannot. The, the air van, air, air car, whatever it is, it can't. We have a sick there. That has cut down the wound time. Can't really tell how much by. Guild Engineer, this guy is something more than just a deck maintenance officer, I'm telling you. Trader Engineers are important, expensive specialists. 
and make guild ships and other facilities run as smoothly as possible, and are often in somewhat influential positions. They're not really warriors, but they are rich enough to carry good weapons and wear some armor, so beware. Human power armor? We got a little of that. Some considerably well-off humans wear these Marsec produced imposing and expensive suits of armor. Composed of plaster steel plates, backed by powerful yet cumbersome servos, the bulky appearance might be misleading as the armor is actually quite thin, just angled to deflect attacks and leave a lot of internal space for machinery and personal gear. The arrangement causes some melee attacks to just bounce off, flat 20% evasion. The suit is fully sealed and can be used in space. Do we have to do missions in space? It's also equipped with very good night vision slash thermal vision. It could perhaps repair recovered suits, but this would be a better understanding. This would require a this would require a better understanding of how the power source and other mechanisms work. The ones we have might not be powered armor. They don't have uh, thermal vision or night vision for sure. I want to research the other one of those because that seems like research we shouldn't have right now. Oh, we can do, um, we can do more, re we can do research on, like, we can cut up a zombie and see what's in it, and a mectoid, an engineered biomatter. Because we got the medical facility. We have so much research to do. Okay. First thing, the prizes are super easy to research. So we'll get those done. Super quick. Then give me another guild engine. Also, we have an extra point of lab space now. Forgot about that. Because it's been so long we've been building that. Give me another brain arm. Eh, we'll wait till the next month. They're not cheap. Valiant Widow. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Volume Widow. I'm not, I'm not super impressed. At least she's Valiant. See, she has bad stats, but but a powerful heart. Do you? Can you not wear clothes for a test flight? We gave one of our crafts a good spin for science, of course. I believe this unique experience will come in handy when designing advanced vessels. I plan to repeat it a few times just to be extra sure. Doing so much research. Put that back up to four. I guess we can start looking at this armor. So much things here. Um. Half of me wants to just try and do something that we could maybe get through fast, and half of me is like. Nah, keep it running. What did ninja gals know? We always have too many prisoners. We didn't get anything from that. I hoped we would. <sighs> really? <laughs> so, do you wish to become a warrior? Hard training is the only key. You need to develop proper training regimens. Taking into account your advantages and disadvantages. Knowing yourself is half of winning the battle. I can only help you to make the first step. You must find out about your abilities. Origins of mutants. Healthy cuisine. Sports and medicine. Before you'll be able to establish your own dojos. Does your pretty head hurt already? No pain. No gain. Stop being useless. Thanks for that. Soldier Ubergal. Hmm. Weird. Also, the other prize is done. We can do some gym stuff. Right? I thought we had gym stuff. We, we don't have gym stuff. Maybe swimsuit design will lead us to gym stuff. That might actually be true. Is it, I'd said it like a joke, and it sounds stupid, but I'm not sure if it's true. <laughs> also, patient outfit? Is that new? We have so much to do. Ninja stick! Give me a ninja stick. 
Give me two ninja sticks. Silver Snake. Have some style, sis. If you have to use a handgun, at least do not use some random junk. Silver Snake is rather old and not as fancy as you can get nowadays. But it is rare and does look quite good. It's Silver Snake. It's a very bad handgun. Oh, it does do extra damage based on your bravery and firing. Only an intrepid gunslinger can use it to its full capacity. I'm thinking. So I have like 60 bravery and 60 firing. I'm a decent girl. How much damage am I doing? It's an extra 9 from bravery and an extra 6 from firing. 35? And... It's the bravery that really matters. Wait, I mean it's both, but... Bravery is harder to make go up. We'll buy one. It's no worse than other revolvers. As long as you don't give it to completely green dolls. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So... But 70 bravery is 7... 11 and a half damage? Ten and a half damage? Ten and a half damage. Um, and that... 90 <laughs> firing accuracy is another nine. So we're doing like... 40 damage? And that's with our best... 40 damage is fine. We take that. With a, with, from a revolver? That's, that's decent. They just keep showing up. I did assign the, the burner again. It's fine. Just that saying there's a, an extra point of space there is throwing me off. Because we're waiting until next month to buy the last researcher. I understand. Godspeed. Hang on. Here's an idea. We can use the radar on the on that airspeeder to send the other airspeeder. And maybe get a mission that will give me a heart attack? By using all the really good gals. Can we go to like here? Um, I'm gonna call them back. Just cause they have a straight shot. <laughs> Nearly. Nearly. Oof. Can you just land? Didn't land. Should have probably followed him. We've examined a repo. No damage from Cham, almost. Little damage from stabbing. This fairy carnivore has powerful jaws and a voracious appetite. It's hard to put down for good since it has two brains and two hearts. The latter are pretty tasty when fried with onion. The traders breed them to terrorize their enemies, but also for their hides that fetch a good price. Beasts used in warfare are controlled via cybernetic implants. Weird. We got some corpses around, right? No, actually. We only have living ones. Well, we'll probably be able to butcher them too when that research is done. This is, uh... Serious tech for the serious squads. The airvan can have the blood arts. The 
They already have a salt. Where is it? Perfect. There's so much weird melee weapons, actually. I want to use all of them. Secret door. A hundred old boots! Hitherto unknown passage in a hideout. Behind the door we found a hundred old boots, but none of them fit. We'll deal with those later. By deal with, I mean throw them away. Also, we're over time, but we'll we'll check this research. So yeah, we have our own pet Reaper that's running around the base, shedding hair and leaving teeth marks everywhere. Hope you're happy with that, Cam. Maybe we should construct some sort of a Reaper pit under your bridge. Oh, that's better than I expected to get out of that. That might be important. That's important to me. Do I have any crafts that that even fit on? And we can butcher them. You know, if we... If we think we got too many. Which we would have? I do want to keep at least one. I had more than one Reaper, right? Where'd all my Reapers go? Or maybe I didn't. Ninja Gal told me about a heavy carbine. Apparently this is a Sky Ninja attempt to design some sort of low-tech but dependable standard issue weapon. By his common hand cannon rounds. That looks really fucking good. Only four shots, but four good shots. Aimed accuracy is not like Great for a rifle? But you can shoot two of them in a round? Multiple bonuses? You'd have to check the anal? That looked like a really good gun. Okay. Don't have any of that gun, tragically. And it is now time to call it for now. See you next time, guys.